You're listening to Almond in the Morning, Common Sense Radio. My video mashup, my video creation, my cinematic triumph involving the greatest picture ever taken of the flag-carrying Trump supporter chasing that coward on the beach is up on the electric stove right now. I tweeted it out. You'll enjoy it. It's against the backdrop of the Rob Zombie song, American Nightmare. It's great. It's, great. it's good. I think it's, it's pretty really good. good. You'll, you'll enjoy it. It's up, up, up there on the stove. Todd Starnes, people. Mercenary radio reporter, Todd Starnes. Does that make me crazy? Well, I've been busy waxing my dink. Does that make me crazy? Smoking pot from a bong. Does that make me crazy? You can get free hookers, just don't decorate them with Christmas ornaments. Oh. Usually what happens is if Todd Starnes is there, it's some kind of catastrophe. So, yeah, <laughs> down. we got to get some ribs or something. Yeah, people are going to be, when we see you on the 6th of April, say smoking pot from a bong. <laughs> <laughs> have to repeat it still all makes your me laugh every time things. I hear that. Oh, I intro. know. It's the best. Love it, man. You know what's, re- you know what's really bad? I he- heard that song over the, uh, the Muzak system in our supermarket when I was in the produce section. Oh, you and did? I just, spontaneously said smoking pot from a ball <laughs> <laughs> i love it well the event is sold out thank you so much to weber chevrolet for the sponsorship there it's april 6th but we're going to kind of squeak in a few more people uh next week and the run-up to the event so we'll be able to offer you some ability to get tickets online and we'll also give them away on the show so make sure you uh go ahead and keep your schedule open in the event that you don't have tickets but it is sold out but thank you for all that and Todd will have his books available and thank you so much it'll be a great night my friend appreciate it very much but back to that how about that picture did you see that picture of the guy with the flag Paul that that was a beautiful thing Boy, I thought it was truly an American moment um, you know this thing is really getting out of control with these anti-Trump people uh, they want to silence uh, free speech in America. And it's nice to know uh, that you've got some patriots out there who finally put their foot down and said, you know what, you're not going to do that to a woman. You're just not going to do that. They were being pepper sprayed. I mean, right. it, 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 at that point, you know, it's not just that's not just a protest. That's fascism. Uh, that's abuse. And it was so nice to see people finally taking it in their own hands. Because here's the thing: we have had none of these acts throughout the past year and a half, Todd, condemned by anybody of any stature. In fact, uh, street fighting has been encouraged, even by Tim Kaine who went on TV and famously talked about fighting in the streets and everything else. His own son arrested for rioting and and abuse so that we have no condemnation from anybody of any import on the left that's right as a matter of fact a federal judge you might remember the uh, back in the campaign uh, the the brutal attacks in san jose uh... where the uh, protesters went and attacked pro-trump supporters uh... so a federal judge just last week gave the green light for a lawsuit against the city for failing because the police were told to stand down the police were told not to do anything. So now they've got a lawsuit, and the federal judge says, yeah, you got a right to sue these people. Wow. When you are, by the way, flying into St. Louis, I guess you're going to have to keep your leggings in the drawer? You know, this reminded me of a, of a book written by a Southern uh, writer. She's a humorist, and I, I, I preface this by saying she's a woman, uh, and she wrote this book called Stop Dressing Your Six-Year-Old Like a Skank. <laughs> and this is... This, this, this is an interesting thing because what happened on that United Airlines flight really does expose a much bigger problem. Uh, people just don't know how to dress in public anymore, Jamie. I mean, look, uh, back in the day, people would dress like they were going to Sunday, you know, Sunday church, you know, uh, on, the, on the airplane. But these days, it looks like they're going to take a twirl on a stripper ball. Well, yeah, these two girls were boarding a flight from Denver to Minneapolis, and the gate agent refused to let them on because they were wearing these leggings, these tight-fitting leggings. And I guess the argument uh, is and is ongoing as a fashion situation. I've never had anybody actually – I've never seen anybody kicked out of some place for wearing them. But women have traditionally had arguments even in the studio about whether leggings are pants or whether they're really pants or they're not well, pants. Well, the, the model of what uh, Chrissy Teigen, I think that's her name, uh, she uh, – she, uh, 
tweeted her support of these young ladies by saying that she's actually flown United without wearing any pants at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, because people, the, the argument that they're making, I guess, presumably, is that they're more like stockings, and so you're basically wearing stockings and no... <laughs> you're wearing nothing on. Were these like sheer <laughs> leggings or what? On. I don't know. I don't know whether they were sheer. They had to I be... I see a picture of these girls' leggings. They had to be different than yoga pants. Well, here's the thing. I will concede that you have a constitutional right to dress like a Vegas showgirl True. on the airplane. But the issue is whether you, your mama would want you to. Well, the, the, but American... Your mama does. You know, American does have a, a policy regarding their employees, right? Uh, they're prohibited from wearing clothes that are torn, dirty, frayed, or overly revealing. But uh, the American Airlines does still, it says on your ticket, they do reserve the right to bar you. If you're closed in a manner that would cause discomfort or offense to other passengers. so You want to know who I wish they would ban? <laughs> the guy sitting next to me who takes his shoes off and starts clipping his toenails <laughs> in first class. Right. That's the guy I want to ban. Uh, boy, that is for sure. But actually, yeah, and, and actually barefoot is one of the uh, one of the things they can kick you off. Anyway, but be, be careful, and, and I'm sure you'll be dressing appropriately. With you, You'll have your ascot on and your... Uh, uh, <laughs> Smoking jacket. <laughs> this is Fox News. We don't wear ascots on this network. <laughs> I got you. Well, we can't wait to see you, Todd. Next week, it'll be a ton of fun. We'll have a chance to talk to you before that. Maybe when we do talk to you, we'll give away a couple of tickets to come and see you and me for all of the evening with Todd Starnes at the beautiful Foundry Art Center in St. Charles. Sold out, but we'll get you in some way. Thank you, this Todd. Great Thanks, to Jane. see you. Please talk to you at Todd Starnes.